the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Bucks and the Pack, and it comes your way next. We are at the oldest continually operating stadium in the NFL as you get a look inside Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on the Green Bay Packers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Oh, Charles, the page has been turned here in Green Bay, coming off a disappointing end to 2022 and a sub-500 finish. But set the quarterback position aside. What needs to happen for the Packers to get back to the NFC playoffs? Everyone is going to look at that quarterback position that you just mentioned. But the bottom line is there's a lot of talent on the defensive side of the ball. I believe they have eight first-round draft choices on the roster. They have to play to that level to get Green Bay back in form. And then for the visiting Bucs, you know, all of a sudden, Super Bowl 55 feels like it was a long time ago. Tom Brady retired. Some of the stalwarts of that team have moved on. They did win the NFC South last year, but they did so with a losing record at 8-9. and nine. And sometimes when you have a chance to begin again, other people emerge and play at a level that you don't expect. And that's what Tampa Bay needs from this team in 2023. Here's Anders Carlson set to get this one started, and we are underway here at Lambeau. From the end zone, here's Devin Tompkins. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. So here are the Buccaneers ready to go on offense with a new man at the helm here for 2023 in his sixth season now in the NFL, Baker Mayfield. And he's a guy who plays with a lot of emotion. He's learned how to channel it really positively because when he throws the football downfield and makes a big play, he'll be the first guy downfield to celebrate with you. But also, when his team needs that confidence, when they need that jolt, they turn to him, and he's ready to provide it. And that would incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and 10. The drive will start with an option going left. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Now a second down throw for Mayfield. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. Looking for Kate Otten that time, and it'll bring up third down. Now come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. On third down, Mayfield. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. A fourth down, here's Jay Camarda on to punt for the box. And the rookie, Jaden Reed, deep for the Packers. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. So here are the new-look Packers set to go to work. And at the helm here in 2023, a lot of eyes on this man in his fourth NFL season, Jordan Love. And at the start of Jordan Love's NFL career, he had one of the best seats in the stadium watching Aaron Rodgers work. But now he's looking for more than that. Rocket arm, big play potential. And he wants to show this organization that he's capable of being a dependable starter for the foreseeable future. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, sometimes as a running back, you've got to be able to improvise when the hole's not where you expect it to be. But in this case, there wasn't any improvisation that he could do that was going to work. Kind of like if you're trying to be a comedian on open mic night at the improv, and you run into a tough crowd. Play fake. Here's Love. 
Here's a diving catch right side. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 yards on the play there as the Packers have the first down as well. When I played in the yard as a kid, I used to imitate the spectacular catches that I would see on TV. I don't think I ever imitated one quite that well. <laughs> Come on, give yourself some credit. No, I know better. What we just saw there, that was pretty special. On first and 10, Love. A complete once again to Watson. And that's good for a gain of six. And that will bring up second down. Off the play fake, Love. That one caught downfield by Watson. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. A game there of 30 big ones. What my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep downfield, that can hurt your defense. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. Play action this time with Love. He finds his receiver, Watson. And the Packers are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the 8-yard line. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. Here we go now on first and goal. To throw now. Here's Love. Looking middle, and that's complete. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. And the ball smack dab on the five yard line. Here's second and goal. Here's Love. His pass caught at the four. They get only a yard there. Now it's third and goal. Throwing. Love. Jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Both sides of the football in sync early. You force the three and out, and then you take it down and score points. You know what that tells me? They sold their game plan really well. Head coach said, listen, we're just going to stop them on three and out. We're going to take the ball downfield and score. But he also told them how it was going to happen. They're going to run this. We're going to stop it. Then we're going to take the ball. They won't be able to keep up with us. They got it done. Carlson's extra point up and good, and it's now a 7 nothing game. After the touchdown, called on to send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. First down, Mayfield. This one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways call this penalties. Now a third-round pick a year ago. Here's Rashad White. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. 
Uh, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. But hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Third down and six. Mayfield looks to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Rocky started throwing the football. He's missed now on his first four attempts. I'm eager to see what his demeanor is going to be from this point forward because the best ones, they missed the first 15 attempts and they think they're going to hit the next 15. Let's see if he has that type of an attitude. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Here comes Reed. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. And Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. They'll start out here with the option left. Wiggles free. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Heck of a start. A 30-yard pickup on their first play from scrimmage. So this play, you know, until recently, only something you probably expect to see in a college game. But running quarterbacks are certainly in vogue, and this turned into a big play. And you and I both know that for a long time, coaches worried about their quarterbacks taking too much punishment running plays like this and they still worry about it but when you can break off big chunks of yardage like that it's worth the risk plus you're coaching that quarterback to see those guys coming and get down before the big hit occurs throwing on first down but this one winds up to be incomplete defensively celebration time because they finally forced an incompletion he was perfect throwing the ball to that point yeah but from his viewpoint they didn't force the incompletion he just missed that's how hot he is right now and that's how he wants to continue to throw the ball the second down throw for love that is caught and he doesn't quite make it taking it within an eyelash dropped at the one 25 yards that time. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice gain for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well. Exactly. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Green Bay touchdown. A.J. Dillon taking it in from a yard out. And the Packers are off to a 13-0 first quarter lead. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. Carlson's extra point up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Tampa Bay offense set to go again. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled, haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. Let's see if they can do better here on this drive. And this is going to be a Bucks first down as he gets it up past the 35. But you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football. Let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. 
They go right back to White here on first down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I thought he did a nice job there setting an edge and make sure nothing could get to the outside. But he decided that wasn't enough for him. Worked his way back inside and made the tackle on the ball carrier. Throwing Mayfield. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. Another incompletion there. That's five in a row now to start this game. He's got to take a deep breath now, step back, shake it off a little bit, trust his offensive line, and hope that his play caller dials up something that can give him a completion and get him going. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. Packer pressure, and down he goes. Making that play on the pass rush, that's Devontae Wyatt. Well, partners, the first quarter, too early to start talking about needing a comeback. They're down two touchdowns already, and that sack, that disrupts this drive. They need something to go right on offense, and they need it to happen soon. Fourth down, so Jake Camarda is out there. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return, and that will come the offense as they take over. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side of the ball, so they can already make this a three-score game here if they can come away with points on this drive. Yeah, they're almost pushing them to the break, aren't they, partner? Almost to the point now where it's a loss of words for me, which I know would excite all of our viewers, but you're just not supposed to see that type of dominance so quickly in a game like this. Everything they've done has been working so far. Offense, defense, you name it, it's going well for them. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after their last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Love now. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That third down conversion, good for 23. So the completion there, Charles, looking at this defense, certainly in for a tough task here this afternoon. What are some of the keys for them if they want to come out on top? Well, the first thing, partner, is they just allow the completion there. They don't want to get a string of those going. Let him get his confidence. Let him get into the rhythm of the game, the flow of the game, and all of a sudden, he's feeling like he can do no wrong. You want to really get after his timing a little bit, knock a few balls away, and make things uncomfortable for him, because if he feels relaxed, you are in for a tough afternoon. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry, and they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. Now second and five. Back to the ground, this time with Jones. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Two straight runs of five yards, first and 10. I know flashy plays, splashy plays, as people like to call them. That attracts a lot of attention. But let's face it, when you're efficient, that can control a ball game. And I love the game plan they've got going right now. Back-to-back -back five yard gains. Didn't force the ball downfield. Picked it up on the ground. Yeah, offensive line, they're getting it done. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. Levante David showing his strength and quickness there. A loss of four. I think this defense, Charles, realizing the deficit they're facing, they're going to have to step up and make more plays like we just saw there. Yeah, and those are the type of plays that can focus a defense because, as we know, they've had their trouble so far in this one. But they just proved to themselves that they can get to it. And I expect them to continue to bring that type of pressure in order to try and turn around their fortunes. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. There is no denying they want to get him involved. That's already the fifth time that they've looked his way in this first quarter. 
So that tells me defensively that they want to insist on going in that direction. Make sure you've got your best people in the area to try and take that away. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. The Bucks defense stiffens and pushes this to fourth down. Tight defense there on third down, but what a product of good coaching and even better execution because he realized he's in field goal range. No sense forcing anything, and he made sure he didn't. And his kick is good. And that'll make this 17 0 here in the opening quarter. So a great first quarter continues here as they add on to that lead. And Brandon, I think it sets up what's going to be an important drive because it's now 17 0. So the other guys, they got to figure out something quick before this game gets away from them. So an early advantage now to Goodwood. 17 0 our score as they kick this one away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Here's Mayfield. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. You got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Mayfield on play action. That's taken in by Palmer. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. So finally completes his first pass. Credit the defense, though. They've been showing him some different looks, keeping him off balance. Yeah, I like, it. I like the observation that you had there because when you give him different looks and give any quarterback different looks, it takes just a little bit longer to process sometimes, and you don't throw the ball with the same confidence. You're not sure that that's where you should go with the football, and that's worked for the defense early in this game. And now he's got his first completion. Let's see if his confidence comes back, and he starts to get into a nice little groove. Defense was thinking run of their delta pass of just under 20 yards. Well, these guys certainly need something good to go their way because this first quarter has been something of a disaster for them trying to move the ball. But that completion there maybe can get them focused and moving in the right direction. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Play fake. Mayfield. And that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and 10. Mayfield with it once more. On the left side, a catch by White. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Seventeen nothing, our score after one. Second quarter now, and it's Buccaneer football as they've got it with a first and ten. Going right side is White. The nice footwork gets him just inside the ten to the nine, but no further. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. They keep it on the ground. Right again. And he stopped immediately there. 
two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. Mayfield to throw it. And in for the Buccaneers, touchdown. Cade Otten, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Bucs are able to cut into that deficit. The tight end position has always been dangerous, especially in the red zone, short field. But now even more so because these tight ends aren't necessarily the tight ends of old. They're the rocked-up wide receivers who have a little bit more speed, way harder to cover than before. Chase McLaughlin on for the extra point. And it's 17-7. So that one, an eight-play drive, it spans 75 yards. And Kate Otten capped things off with a touchdown grab. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three except in certain situations, try to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> not one that I've ever met. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 49 yards rushing for him now. He's only carried the ball four times. That outside handoff to the left, that play has to warm the heart of an offensive line coach because they controlled the left side where they were supposed to. But they didn't allow anything to leak from the back side on the right side of the offensive line either. Well played. Yeah, and it created a big run. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 as they're down to the 29-yard line. Love looking to throw it. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. I'll tell you, as a defender, you've got to make life as difficult as possible when you're trying to cover a big tight end because you know his catch radius is huge. He's unable to pull that one in, though. Here's second and 10. Love, they go play action now. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. And this offense on third down today, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and eight. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And I feel like my man, Old Mo, momentum might be changing jerseys right now. How about what they just got done? They scored a touchdown in their last drive. Now here's a three and out. Maybe momentum's getting ready to creep to the other sideline. And his kick is good. And that will open the lead up now to 20-7. to seven. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. 
And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. and back out there now to send this one away. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. Back now comes Tampa Bay. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've got them pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play the same tempo, the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Play action now. Here's Mayfield. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to craft the throwing lanes? So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. To throw, Mayfield. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a box first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They go play action. Mayfield. That's completed right side to Palmer. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll make it second down. Now Mayfield. Takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Mayfield. And he is caught. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. But well, we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered. But how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And you know something? I will hear about that from him soon. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. And they'll come up second and seven. Mayfield off the play fake. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Every now and then, you have some volleyball training actually comes into play as a defender. When a ball's tipped in the air, nice play by the defense, got a hand on it. But when it's in the air, it's up for grabs. And too many times in this league, we've seen great plays happen for an offense as a result of a ball tipped in the air. So what you really want to do is be that guy who comes off the back line and spikes it, knocks it to the ground. Don't let him have that opportunity. And he is going to have a box first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. You want to put together a long drive? You've got to be able to convert on third down, and they've done exactly that on this one. Sure enough, came up with another conversion right there.
Now back to the ground game with White. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Here's second and five now from the 22. A quick throw caught by Evans out wide. It'll be a gain of five, and that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Mayfield down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Buccaneers are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. And that's understanding where the markers are because it's not just running to them. Because on the catch, you could actually be pushed back before the first down. He's getting past it and allowing that opportunity to drift back towards the first down line and still having picked it up. Really well run. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. And the ball smack dab on the five yard line. Here's second and goal. Running behind center with Vaughn. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. He'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. On goal-to-goal -goal runs, when you create lost yardage plays, the only way that happens is either call pressure or what I like to call straight-ahead pursuit. A great read, and they get to the backfield and make the play. And that was a... And Evans hauls it in. Touchdown, Bucks. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Buccaneers are back within a score. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And the lead will shrink to six. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Green Bay returning on offense, led by running back Aaron Jones. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter, been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. He'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll bring up second down. Now Love. And it's knocked away and incomplete. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. The offense on third down, they've hit two for four thus far. This is third and four to throw now. Here's Love. And this is going to be yeah, it's still early in the football game, and you hate to give away possessions, but instead of forcing something downfield on third down, that was a wise move to just get it to the sideline. 
On fourth down, the Packers call on Daniel Whelan to punt. Back deep for the Bucs is Devin Tompkins. Call that a 41-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. Mike Evans in the Tampa offense about to set up shop. Previous series, definitely a focal point. Three catches, the touchdown grab. As a DB, your former DB, is there a number of catches on a drive you're like, oh, he got the best of us? I'm not sure there's a number, but there's a great feel. And what he did on the last drive, yeah. Especially with a touchdown. <laughs> yes. You're never way, happy. You're exactly right. The way he capped it off. So you feel that at the sideline, and now you're looking at your buddies and saying, okay, what are we going to do to take things away from him? Because I'm not sure the other guys can make those sort of plays. So let's make sure that we don't let him get going again. Mayfield now on second down. Throw right side, taken in by Godwin. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. First down, Mayfield. Open man, it's Palmer. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 11 more on that one and another first down. Barney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep and curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole lot cool. of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Well, let's see who's faster. A first down throw for Mayfield. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. Going to the air again with Mayfield. This is White on the screen. There he goes, right side. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 22 yards there, a first down. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. Mayfield on first down. Another catch by White. Back-to-back -back plays. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it's second down. Not only did we just see back-to-back -back nice gains, but we're also seeing the confidence rise, not just for the guy who caught it, but the guy throwing it as well. And these can these back-to-back -back catches here out of the backfield, that can set something up downfield in a later sequence, right? A lot of the time, it starts to draw the defense closer to the line of scrimmage. So to your point, show this swing pass, show this check down. Maybe later on, you heave one deep when you catch him close to the spot. That good for six as they keep this drive right on rolling. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Here's Mayfield. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. Now the Bucs going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. On the draw, it's White, and there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Seconds to go in this first half. Well, he left no doubt about that one because even though. 
though he hasn't left the pocket, he's got a receiver in the area, so it's not grounding, even though there was no way that ball was going to be caught. And this one is right through. And that cuts the lead down to just three, 20 to 17. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. After the main field goal, here's McLaughlin back out there to kick it away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Packer offense heading back for one final first half drive. And they may just be content to take this three-point lead and head into the locker room. First down, love to pass. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. So we're at halftime here at Lambeau with the Packers taking the lead to the break. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment, but welcome everyone to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. It was an excellent first half from quarterback Jordan Love. He connected on a touchdown pass in that first half, and that's a big part of why his guys lead at the break. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. Nixon now from his end zone. Up to midfield. He might take this all the way. Touchdown, Packers. He goes 102 yards from one end zone to the other. And the Packers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And you've used the phrase with me before, pressing the kicking game. What exactly does that mean? Because they did it there. It means focusing on it, all aspects of it, because it's the third part of the game, offense, defense, special teams. If you press the kicking game, create an advantage, make a big play, it often leads to victory. Carlson's extra point up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. And no doubt one of the most, if not the most, exciting play we'll see in this game. The kick return all the way to the end zone for six points. So let's try this again after the kick return TD. Here's yet another kickoff. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Here comes the Buccaneers offense. They get their first reps of the second half. Now Mayfield and the Bucs come up on first and 10 at their own 21. On play action, they'll throw. He completes it right side of White. And he's able to get up here to the 26. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four at the 26-yard line. 
From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. Mayfield on play action. This is a diving effort by Evans. What a catch. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. I know a retirement ceremony is a rocking chair is often one of the major gifts, but don't give this guy one just yet. He may be plus 30, but my goodness, how about that effort? Yeah, he's not that old. Hey, I'm on the wrong side of 32. You, you, you okay? You feeling all right? Uh, I'll be all right. Okay, good. I just need some chocolate and a box of tissues. <laughs> He already came through for them on this drive. No surprise that they were hoping he could do it again. Now a second and ten. And again, it's Mayfield. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of him, it's low and incomplete. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Mayfield looks to throw. He'll get that out to the flat to right. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked it down to force a fourth down? This is a way, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. The Packer offense now ready to get back onto the field. They're rocking and rolling, but the scoreboard doesn't show a big difference. You know, maybe it's one of those games where coaches say you can't miss your turn on offense. I like the way you phrased it, especially with that. I love that rocking and rolling because the explosions on offense are happening. So that's going to get the crowd going. They're loving that. But defensively, they just can't get it together to get the stops they've needed in order to help increase their margin. They've got to find a way, but you're not counting on it. That's exactly what you said. Can't miss your turn. Can't miss your opportunity. <laughs> yeah, they're going for another opportunity now. Throwing on first down, but this one lines up to be incomplete. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That's allowed them to disrupt the play. Second and ten. Love going to give this one to Jones. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Oftentimes when you see a running back get bunched up in the backfield, it's usually because the defensive tackle is eating up blockers for others to make the play. Not in this case. And not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And he'll only get this to about the 35. Well short of the line to gain. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. And that doesn't have to gain big yardage to be an impactful play because if you can get those pass rushers second-guessing themselves that they might get hit with a screen, maybe you can wind up slowing them down just a step. And if you do that, that's a win for that play. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. 35 yards that time on the punt, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. But when you see a quarterback retreating away from the line of scrimmage toward the other goal line like that, usually doesn't end well. 
You're exactly right about that. Normally, if they're moving from side to side, they've got a chance maybe to get back upfield. He was trying to shake defenders and extend the play, but it doesn't work out very well for them at all. You need those extra yards on the other side of the line of scrimmage. Now you're digging a hole for your offense. Now Mayfield. That is incomplete. Well, when the running game's not working, sometimes you just got to take a few more chances down the field. That's a good effort, but it winds up incomplete. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Mayfield. He's going to take another shot here. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot defense certainly appears to be ready for him try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks here comes the Buccaneers punter now as the drive goes backwards so he's on to punt it away on oh, the return is Reed it'll be a 40 yard punt eight on the return and they will take over first and ten and now the Packers get set to go. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Well, that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. From the shotgun again to Jones. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. And that will be incomplete. Partner, the way this offense has marched up and down the field during this game, it's almost a surprise to see an incomplete pass on third down, isn't it? Yeah, they have had their foot on the gas all game long, but here finally stalling out. On now is the Packers punter as he's on to kick it away. Fair catch called for in May, but now we'll have to see about the penalty. Personal foul, roughing the kicker, defense. No! Trailing here in the second half, went for the aggressive play, got a little too aggressive. You've got to know when to pull up, or if you're going to go for it, how to take your body across a punter's body and not into him. Not a good play at all. First down, going to the air with Love. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. It'll be a loss of 10, and it'll bring up second. Tried to create a little bit of that hocus pocus with some magic, but the defense, not impressed at all. They don't lose contain on this very dangerous runner, and they get a big stop. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Love. A quick throw there is incomplete. A partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. On the delay, Jones. And he had a nifty little deep juke move, but he stopped shortly thereafter. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. On now is the Packers punter, as he'll come on to kick this one away. And they won't risk a 
defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted. It's spotted at the 14-yard line. Now Mayfield and the Bucks come up on first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Delivering a pass here to Evans on the out route. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. So from the 22, here's second and two. Mayfield now. Left side here, that's complete to Godwin. And Godwin going to have a box first down as he'll get this up to the 32. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Mayfield to throw it. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Palmer. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. Now Mayfield. Over the middle, he finds Godwin complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That'll give him 60 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. They go with White on the counter. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. Taken down at the 43-yard line. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. On second down, they'll run with White. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up the third down. All runners count on their eyes to find the gaps and creases to find open space. There was absolutely none on that one. Totally swallowed up on that play. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. To throw, Mayfield. That is caught, and this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 33. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. That's a pretty good throw on the curl route there. Third down, and they pick up a first. Defense should be aware for that, right? It should be aware, but it was so hard sometimes. Yeah, it's not easy. Because <laughs> when, they, when they sell that route really well, you think they're going upfield, then they curl back, show their numbers to the quarterback, and complete the play. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. 23 yards on the play. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Now a give up the middle. This is White. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. If you're looking for glory, looking to get your name in the headlines, you do not want to play nose tackle. But how about what we just saw there? The ability to hold people up, take on extra blocks, and actually slip them and make a tackle on that play. That's big time. They stay on the ground with White. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends are like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Yeah, he's got it. 
And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. So the completion good for six yards. And that'll bring up fourth down. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. Fourth down, Mayfield. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They throw for it on fourth and goal at the one. And instead of having a one-score game, they'll remain two scores down. Everyone gears up for third down, talks about the importance of it. But fourth down, that's truly the moment of truth play, isn't it? Everything's dialed up a little bit more. And it, you know, it's such a momentum play, isn't it? Absolutely, because it can flip either way depending on who converts. find any type of a crease, you're up to the third level before you know it. Play fake. Here's Love. He hits Dobbs on the crosser. Now he's free at the 35. He may go. Touchdown, Packers. Romeo Dobbs, 88 yards. And the Packers are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. And Charles, I had an offensive coordinator tell me one time that they designed every play to score. I don't know how true that is, but he had to run a long way after that catch. Heck of a play. I think that when he was telling you that, he was designing run after catch in every play. <laughs> I mean, that, that's the only way to put it in there, and that's what we got on that one. Nice catch, an even better run for big yardage. Carlson's extra point up and good, and that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. After the touchdown, called on to send this one away. And he will be taken down here on the return on what will wind up being the final play of this third quarter. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now at Lambeau. The Bucks' offense set to begin their next possession. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, it's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. The big play has him all the way out near midfield for a first and ten. Running out of the gun with White. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Okay, he didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge, and that's probably exactly what he's telling him in the huddle right now. From the 43, here's second and a yard. Here's Mayfield. His throw incomplete. They tried to the throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Throwing Mayfield. He'll dump this one off here to White. 
And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. That's just what you call a chain mover right there. Nothing fancy. Get the ball out to the back, and you're asking him to make a little bit extra out of maybe what is nothing. And he does exactly that. Picks up the first down. I can't wait till we get to the point, partner, where we're not saying chain mover, but we're saying laser pointer picks it up for the first down. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two. Two yards to go, second down. Again, he'll drop to throw. It's grabbed over the middle by Wayne. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 20-yard line. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense... Do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Buying time to his left. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs at a first down. Fast, slow, it doesn't matter. If you give a quarterback enough room to escape, he can hit you for a big game. You've got to give him a little more focus moving forward. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. White is not going to get in here as they push him back to the two-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Got to give a lot of credit to the defensive front there. They held their ground. Pretty much stoned him on that play and ended up creating a lost yardage play. Yeah, drop him from the one back to the two. Back at the two now. Here's second and goal. Vaughn is going backwards as he'll be tackled back at the four-yard line. It's a loss of two. Now third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable. And you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say. Play action. Yeah, without a doubt. I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? Now, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. Now Mayfield on third and goal. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Cade Otten. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Bucs have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. And, Charles, they continue to have trouble stopping him as he's into the end zone yet again. Yeah, that's multiple series now that have ended with him in the end zone. A perfect plan on how to utilize him best when they get in close. McLaughlin for the extra point. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. A 10-play drive that time. And Kate Otten capped things off with a touchdown grab. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. Keyshawn Nixon now on the return. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Green Bay about set for another series. Here comes Romeo Dobbs. They might want to mix something up defensively because he's been shredding them a bit, hasn't he? That he has in even with all the changes that you know are going on on the defensive side of the ball, he's still finding ways to get open, finding the right spots, and the delivery's been pretty good, too. Nice. Over 100 yards has the one touchdown score to this point. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Play action. Love to throw. Finds his receiver, Watson. 
so nothing doing there. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. Well, the stats that matter on this play don't help a team very much, unless, of course, you're playing defense. If you're getting points per reception, you got a reception, but yeah. no yardage. Great job by the defense, though. They, they read through that one. They read through it, gave up no yardage, and people got credit for tackles. Pretty good deal. Love. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And it's fielded at the 34. A 40-yard punt, five yards on the return. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. Well, still a long way to go, but trending upward. They scored the last time out, you remember. Then their defense forced the punt. Now they try to inch closer, but still ultimately down two scores in the final quarter. They begin the drive on the ground. It's right, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Great stop by Devontae Wyatt, breaking through the line and stopping it cold. Well, that's pretty symptomatic about how things have gone here. That play was just shut down right from the start. And not going to give him a lot of confidence to help turn things around. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I think the defenders have to feel pretty good, even though the ball was tipped in the air and could have become a big play for the offense. They actually won one because the guy flinging it today, he's having quite the performance. A couple of touchdown passes, almost threw his first interception, but he's throwing it so well that I think Lady Luck was on his side. On third down, Mayfield. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Desperation time. Mayfield on fourth down. He's got his target. That's complete. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Mayfield looks to throw. That's completed right side to Palmer. And that's good for a gain of six. And it's second down. And now Mayfield on the bootleg. And his pass incomplete. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Mayfield. Touchdown! Cade Otten, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Bucs have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. It's been quite the game for him individually, a trio of touchdown catches now. So pick a route, any route, whatever you want him to run, he's going to do it and do it well and end up in the end zone. This has really been fun to watch. McLaughlin now to add the PAT. And the lead is down to a field goal now. So that drives seven plays in length. And Kate Otten capped things off with a touchdown grab.
Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. Here's Nixon. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Packers offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. This game has really flipped on its head. Two unanswered touchdowns by the other side, and now you know, they take over here with just a very slim one-score lead. And we see, and the ball is out. Jones got hit and lost it. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. The fumble on first down. Now here's second down. To pass. Here's Jordan Love. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. But plain and simple. That's the second time today that he's dropped a pass. And that one, I think, maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped. Surprising. Was this game announced as a night game prior to, and maybe his rhythm confused. is just off? He's got thrown off. He's got to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. Throwing. Love. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have the Packers first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. And that pickup on the first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? Oh, so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or a takeaway. Otherwise, this will probably get away from them. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Tight end has become a bigger and bigger part of the passing game in the NFL. But if you drop the football... That position can get swapped out with a you know, wide receiver in that spot, a running back in that spot. There are other ways they can go if you're not going to catch the ball. And that's not just his first drop, his second drop of the game. And it's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. 91 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. Well, they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there, gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you've got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Off the play fake, Love. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Well, partner, I would say just avoid play action, but that's not just been the problem. This defense, they've been getting pressure on all types of pass plays and really piling up the sacks in this contest. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he gets it to the 32, good enough for a first down. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one-score game, first and ten here. Again, it's Jones. And some determined running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12-yard line. The Bucs going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. shotgun it's Jones and he will get this into the end zone touchdown Green Bay Aaron Jones a 12-yard touchdown run and the Packers 
Bengals are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. What a huge touchdown that was, obviously, here in the late stages of the fourth quarter as they try to put this one away. And, Brandon, when they watch the film after this... And now it appears that the referee's been buzzed, and we'll get a review, and this being inside two minutes of play, everything coming from up above. The thing that they'll be looking at is a spot of the football, and uh, this is always such a tough one for officials to get exactly right. Not just because of how fast the game's going, but just trying to get the right sight line to the football, that's not always easy. We'll see what they decide here. So the officials and the folks in New York got a second look at this one, and the call is going to be overturned. Jones will take this one in for a Packer touchdown. Some good running there at the end of the drive. He had the burst that set up the first and goal, and then one play later, he's in the end zone. Brandon, what I liked about that sequence is I'm not sure who made the play call, but they understood the situation, understood the momentum. A nice hard-charging run, give it right back to him and let him cap things off. Carlson on for the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that one, a long 11-play drive. And the last play in the drive was a touchdown run by Aaron Jones. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. So Mayfield and the Bucks down by 10. A minute 16 remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Now Mayfield finds White. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. They'll come up now on second down. Mayfield to throw. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Tried to go for the big one there on second down. Now they're likely down to their final two plays. And you know they've got to keep going for the big shot, right? So defensively, you play what they call top down. Nothing behind you. Make everything get completed in front. Here's Baker. Gets this to Moore. And he is going to have a box first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And now a tip of the cap to the man under center, Charles. He just went over 400 yards passing in this ball game. He's got the touchdown passes to boot, taking pretty good care of the ball. Just all around a really solid performance. Yeah, just check, 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 and check, right? Because he certainly showed he was worthy of the trust that his team put in him. A handful of touchdowns to his credit thus far. Now he's just crossing off yardage milestones and win or lose. His name has to be in serious discussion for player of the game. They'll try again here, second and 10. Mayfield. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. There he goes, left side. And into the end zone, it's a pick six and a Packer touchdown. And that pick six, that was the first turnover forced by the defense in this ballgame, CD. And what's even better is when they finally forced one, they kept the effort up or able to return it for a score. They could hear their defensive coaches saying to them, hey, getting the interception's great. Can you do more with it? Turn it into a big play. And they did exactly that. Carlson's extra point up and good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17.
Nelson back out there now to send this one away. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance well, by, by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one. It certainly was, and I think both sides compete against each other all the time. You go to each other in practice, obviously your training camps, your offseason. But on game day, you both want to show your best. And I think that's what we saw from both the offense and the defense, a complete team victory. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Packers are winners here as we say so long from Lambeau.